let's get a box. We've got two more boxes that I've uncovered back there. So let's take a look and see what's in here. Um, definitely a variety of things. bags of some kind. Those are good flea market items. Just lay them here. I have no idea what this is. I don't know if it's handmade or kind of some kind of folk art or, or what. Well, these are neat. Corn salt and pepper shakers. Those might be worth looking up. Um, salt and pepper shakers are very collectible. Um, I didn't know that until I started doing some of the stuff. But uh, what goes up? Little alarm clock that still works. Okay. Dutch country. And it had its little plastic souvenir. The thing goes back under the bridge and then back out the bridge. That is a chunky ashtray. It's got paint across the bottom of it. That thing is heavy. Oh, another ashtray. like little boxes. Hmm, okay. Got a pin. Looks like a swan or a duck. Something like that. It's never been out. It's still attached to the package. I don't think it's gold. That might be some mother of pearl though. Let me look that one up. Just just to see. Something flew off of this. I think it's leaking. Snow globe-ish kind of type thing. Oh. An hourglass. I think this box has a lot of knickknacks. So far, no patty wax or dog bones. So, candle holder, glass candle holder. Ashtray, a souvenir ashtray from somewhere. Made in Japan. Look that up. I can't see what that label says. May have to put in some more light. Squirrel. It's bear aspirin bottle, glass bottle. I want to look that up. That is interesting. It's probably not worth a million dollars, but it's kind of cool. Older. A little glass bottle. That's probably a perfume bottle. I'm not sure what kind it is, but we will look that up. A little glass bottle. Can't really see. It's supposed to look like a decanter. I don't think it's super old. I think this is made in Taiwan. Another little bottle. Nothing marked on here. And over here. Those postcards? Oh, well, that's cool. These might be the Disney. Yeah, Frontierland. These are from Disney. I can get that price sticker off of there without ripping a bunch of stuff off. I don't think we can. I 
Well, mostly. Took a little piece off of it, but most of it stayed. So this is this is really cool. A lot of a lot of Disney postcards right here in this. Um, it's like one postcard, but and it's all attached. Looking for a year. Oh, it's Disneyland. Disneyland, not Disney World. That is something I'm definitely going to look up. Again, not anything worth a million dollars, not, you know, a huge fine. But that's cool. That, that should be worth something. It's a cool little plaque. Take that to the flea market. Bunt pan. Okay, what is this? It's like a big blanket. I see woof, a zipper. Oh, it's Paw Patrol. What is it? It's not quite big enough to be. Oh, I think it goes on like a toddler bed and it goes down over the mattress. Like a like a fitted sheet and then unzips for the kid to cover up with it i might see if my wife wants that because my youngest son he's two he's still in his crib but we'll be transitioning him over to his taller bed probably pretty soon so that might be something we can use all right um it's to look like a toaster falling out of it. Kid craft. Another one of those toys. Kitchen toys. They're made out of wood. Kind of neat. We got a Christmas tin with puppies. And an afghan of some kind inside. Just a small afghan. We'll look at it here. Shirley Jean Fruitcake, 10. Let's see if there's a date. Nope, no date. It's kind of dirty. My wife likes 10s, so I'll see if she likes this one. Clipboard. Always need a clipboard. This looks like it's probably just going to be flea market items. But that's okay. It gives a variety. So, okay. Somebody likes cows. There you go. Another glass vase. Rusted cookie tray. Plastic barrel. Just to get that out for parties and stuff. Here's the rest of the serving tray, cookie tray. There it is. Oh. Ceramic Christmas tree, light up. 
Okay, so I pulled out everything that was in the trailer. That shelf just, that shelf just fell. I pulled everything out and I've gone through everything I can go through. Um, well, except these bags of clothes. I need to pull these out and take them inside and let my wife go through them real quick. Um, but other than that, I've gone through everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start packing things back in um, that is going to go to the flea market. And I'm just going to start with the stuff that's here and do that tonight. And then do more probably tomorrow. Have some things to do in the morning. But then tomorrow afternoon I'll come back out here and start loading some more things that are going to go to the flea market. So that's it for now. We'll see you tomorrow.